So I've got all that Sorry, stuff getting shaved in there. Now keep in mind, if I was making a good size fire, I would do this a lot more. I would fill that up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But we're just kind of getting an idea here. Yeah, everybody get to where everyone can see. You can come around on this side too. So I'm taking that, rubbing that in there like that. Now, I'm gonna take my, is it edible? No. And one good thing to remember about this stuff is the fat wood. We don't use this to like keep a fire lit because um, we don't want to cook on this stuff. This stuff will produce a, a black smoke. And if you cook on that, it can make you sick. Now I cook on pine quite a bit, you know, but I'm also, and I grew up living like a hillbilly. So maybe I'm just a little different, but uh, I want to warn you guys, we don't want to cook on that. You know, that's when we'd want to switch back over to some oak wood. Now I'm gonna use the blade of my knife. Now see how I'm sitting there using my thumb and I'm pushing it and I'm slicing that across to be safe. Now if I'm sitting there, like for example, if I'm sitting down and I'm cutting, this is what feels right. This is what feels comfortable, right? Yeah. That's very stupid. <laughs> because, <laughs> sorry, but these kids need to understand. Yeah. I see kids getting into survival skills they're going out looking for fat wood, chopping it with their hatchet. Nobody's taught them how to use the hatchet yet. Nobody's taught them how to use a knife yet. You know, and a knife is not meant for a constant drag across. It doesn't work like that. A knife is made and designed to slice. So you see when I move that, how much deeper it got and how easier that was to cut versus trying to go like that and get nothing. Knives are meant to slice. So I want to keep that moving. Plus what that's doing is keeping the blade even and I'm not doling up just one spot. But now if I'm sitting here like this and that blade slips, this little triangle right here, that's what I call a triangle of death. I learned that from my Dave Canterbury guy. <laughs> but that triangle of death, guys, because there's arteries in here. Now if I'm all out in the woods by myself in a survival situation and I'm making a tool and I'm cutting it like this, my knife slips it's gonna really hurt it's gonna be damaging so i get out of that triangle of death i'm right-handed so i'm gonna go over here see that you see how much easier that is it doesn't feel quite as good because you're you're kind of twisted to one side but it makes all the difference in the world because guess what if my hand slips all i'm cutting is a fart some air right <laughs> get it cut <cutting> air <laughs> so I just made that up. I was pretty pleased with myself. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, nothing's going to get hurt out here, right? Because I'm away from my body. You know, I'm keeping that in mind. And if you really pay attention to what I do, a lot of times you'll see me cut and not even move this knife. I'll be out of that triangle of death and you'll watch me end up moving the stick making cuts so I don't move that blade I'm moving the stick right because why why would I do that you know because sliding the stick means less damage of happening with sliding that so like let's say that there was some kind of certain move that I couldn't make over here and I kind of needed a little bit of precision well I would move the stick a little bit you know and even that would be a dangerous position if it doesn't feel comfortable, change your position. I could do that same move that I was doing like this, completely safe. I'm out of my triangle of death because if I go like this, it's gonna do nothing but cut farts or cut that ground, right? That's gonna be my new line from now on. <laughs> Cutting farts with Captain Planet. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some more in there. Now, I'm not using that slicing method on this one because I've done so many lessons and I haven't sharpened my knife. It's gotten dull. So I'm actually using that serrated Mom. part, which I'm actually not a big fan of on my knives. It's a carpenter. Because it kind of, it what makes it to where a carpenter. lot of what I use a knife for, you can only use one part of it. I would rather that knife be completely smooth. So I've got that all situated. Now, now I usually grab some thinner monkey hair too. 
but that specific tree, it was small enough that I couldn't get my big old fingers in there. So what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of this under it. So usually this finer monkey hair is in that small little triangle that I'll show you on the cabbage palm. Ooh, yeah, it's just right. dried out monkey hair. Right there. Yep. Really so I'm gonna put that down, put my little flakes back.